Welcome guys back to another exciting video which is the third part of how to quickly edit your photos and how to give your photos a better look and on this third episode I've got a picture here and I'll show you how to transform it from this into this and here I would like to say one thing again that if you would like me to feature your photos in the upcoming videos so just send it to the email in the description and we will edit it together in the next video. So let's get into the business. Before we start the video, I would like to brief about my channel. If you haven't checked my channel, you can go and watch because you will find tons of useful videos, tips and tricks that everybody's gonna need that. So make sure to go watch and hit the subscribe button. So let's get into our video. I've got this photo here which is totally having the contrast between the background and the foreground the foreground is completely like nearly too dark and the background is white so the, there is a contrast there and if you capture these kind of photos using HDR you won't have any problem like you will get a very good result but I think that there is not any kind of HDR mode used uh, while taking this picture so nevertheless we can fix it inside the Photoshop so today I'm gonna show you just a very few steps how to do that so without any further ado let's roll filter or camera filter this is the shortcut And once we are inside here, so the first thing that I need to fix in this image is the contrast and exposure. So we'll go to basic and here we will increase a little bit the exposure because, because if we overexposed it, then our background will also be overexposed, which we do not want. And then we will increase the shadow so that we can see all the details on the grass and also the blacks here a little bit and then we will bring down the white here because we want to have a little bit detail on the background and we will also bring down the highlight not so much just a little bit and then we will drag down the contrast a little bit and we will put the texture the clarity the dehaze and a little bit of vibrant here and saturation now it looks pretty nice we've got the uh, since it was the sunset timing I think because the shadow the ref because the reflection of the sunset uh, can be clearly seen on her hair and then we will change the temperature to yellow so that we can get a warmer look and I'm sure it was not a winter season and then I would love to drag the tint also towards the positive side uh, okay right now we are done with this and then we will come down to color mixer and we'll go to hue uh, we'll go to saturation at first and then we'll just increase the saturation of few colors here like like the green and the yellow basically you can play with it and you can see however you want okay here since the dress is white so uh, I would love it to be white so I will drag down uh, the reflection of blue color which is on the dress towards the minus side and then the aquas uh, 
we don't have so much aqua color here on the purple uh that's okay not so much we'll go to hue again here and uh, let's see what we can do with hue here okay if you love the grass to be like yellow okay just put it here if you want it to be completely green you can turn it towards the positive side towards the left right side and you can also drag it down to the yellow side which makes which gives it more autumn look and this is how you can also change okay let's just move on and we'll come to luminance let's see what we can do here in the luminance okay if I drag it to the right side you can see theory is a bit of detail we can see like the highlight so I would drag it to the right side positive side and the orange colors maybe a bit the yellow color a little bit and the green a little bit of aqua and also the blue maybe oh oh my god not this much okay and then we'll okay and then we will come to split toning here down so let's go with a split toning what we can do with the split toning here I would give I would give this picture here I would select around between the orange and yellow color not so much just a little bit and then for the shadow maybe we don't need it even depends on you but again I will put it around here between the yellow and between the orange and yellow I like this warmer look that's why so next we will go to calibration and here we will come to the blue primary color here we can do bunch of things if I drag it to the left side we will have completely a different look of till and orange and if I drag it to the right side you'll have another color so I'll drag it to the left this this is what I love and let's play with the situation here this is also a good look like it kinda give the picture an old look that's also good so we'll put it in the middle and we will play here with the red colors a bit and also with the shadow somehow and we will go to color mixer again and let's see if we can improve something here all right all right this is good here we'll go to basic again and let's see what we can do here again All right, all right. We will just drag down the clarity a bit, not so much. Okay, this much is enough. 
and for now this is okay so you can see there is there is a huge difference between this picture and this one so I'm happy with the result that I've gotten so again what we need to do is to try to focus on the middle so we will select the radial filter here and I will make a circle and put it here in the middle and then we will invert it okay we will drag it down so that the main focus should be on this lady All right, we've got this. And for now, this is okay. We will hit okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now here is to control Z to undo the effect and I will control J to copy this layer. And then again, I will press alt plus control plus A and I will apply the effect on the upper layer because I don't want to lose my original photo this layer is locked you can double click and click OK to unlock it and so we can see the difference let me zoom in a bit press F to make some space for yourself and then hold ALT and then scroll the mouse There is there is a lot of difference. You can hold the space to move your picture around here and there. Okay, the next step that we need to do, I would love to replace this sky because it's just a flat white sky, and I would I would like to replace it with the sunset sky. So we will grab our magic wand tool here and we'll click here and we'll click the positions that we want to replace with the sky and and then we will go to the image and I will replace this sky with that so we will select this picture control A and then we will cont uh, hit control C to copy and while we are here Selecting this layer, we will press Ctrl Shift Alt V. And once we have done that, so just see what happens. Ctrl T to select this picture and holding Alt, just drag it so you don't lose any kind of uh, perspective. You so you don't have any sort of perspective. And drag it, drag it, and drag it so since i think this the sun was shining from this side and reflecting from this side so just flip it horizontal and then increase the size again and let's put it here i think that's pretty fine so let's just adjust it a little bit and we will we'll try to change the mode here and we will see which one suits the best so I will go with the multiply and then I will drag down the opacity and the fill built okay I think it's pretty good, but here and here we need to fix something like we have got the sky, the replaced sky in this portion, but we don't have here. So I will select 
this layer and I'm gonna press B for brush tool and I'm gonna apply a little bit so there should not be any difference between the replaced sky and the original one I'll, I'll, I'll go like that I will apply these all portions here and I will drag down the opacity a little bit more and I'm happy with the result now okay it's good and then we will merge these two layers so in order to merge just hold all just hold control and select the layers that you want to merge so I don't want to merge this layer but only these two and once we have selected the layers press ctrl E to merge and make it into one layer so this is the difference so we've come so far till here it was some simple steps how to improve your picture and how to give your photos a better look I'm very happy with the result and uh, and we can do one more thing here we can just resize our picture I think there's a lot of foreground here in the front which is unnecessary and this much would be ideal I think and here I've got a nice picture here that's it guys Thank you for watching. I hope you have liked the video and have learned something from me. So make sure to keep supporting me and keep motivating me to make more useful videos for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.